It was a beautiful day, a clear blue sky, a light breeze. We decided to go out for a family picnic in the local park. We invited some friends, packed yummy food, brought blankets, tablecloths, balls, bats, mitts, frisbees. Everyone arrived on time, and as the kids played, we unpacked and set up the picnic. There were sandwiches and salads and hard-boiled eggs, and then I heard it. Where's the salt? Someone forgot to pack the salt. How can we eat eggs with no salt? For the complainer, who shall remain nameless, that beautiful day was ruined. You're thinking that's ridiculous to focus in on such a small thing when everything else is so great. But you know what? We do the same thing. Although God showers us every day with blessings, we complain and blame. It's raining. The traffic is terrible. The kids didn't clean their room properly. Your mother-in-law was critical again. We can't believe someone forgot the salt. Hey, we're alive. We have a roof over our heads. Clean water, food, family, friends. Most of us live a life of incredible abundance, safety, and freedom. So what is there to complain about? Who is there to blame? Why do we do it? Because we feel that life owes us something. We are entitled, deserving, and we expect things to go the way we want it to go. We're setting ourselves up for a life of blaming and complaining, which is not a happy life. The antidote? Realize that God runs the world, and He makes sure that everything happens exactly how it's supposed to happen. All of the abundance, all of the lacking, all of the joy, all of the pain. It's all from the Almighty. And guess what? He doesn't make mistakes. This may not be a situation we asked for, but God's decided it's the situation we need. It's raining. Without rain, we wouldn't have food. In a traffic jam, the Almighty wants you to stop and think. Kids didn't clean their room perfectly. Focus on the fact that they tried. Critical mother-in-law, if it wasn't for your mother-in-law, you wouldn't have your spouse or your children. So the next time something is not exactly going as you expected, stop and say to yourself four simple words. Don't blame, don't complain. How do I work on it? With this simple band. It has a saying on it from Ethics of Our Fathers. Who is happy? the one who takes pleasure in his portion. The goal is to go three straight weeks not complaining. And if you complain, you have to take it off one wrist and put it on the other and start again. This band helps me to realize just how often I do blame and complain, and it gets me to change my focus. Try it. It will increase your happiness at work, at home, even when you're stuck in traffic. And you'll see that life is filled with abundant pleasure, even if there is no salt. <laughs>